Mexico's already sputtering economy is facing more challenges now in the form of protest movements. Most are related to the fate of 43 college students missing and presumed killed last September. Frank Contreras has our story. Protests over the 43 missing students are spreading across southern Mexico. The latest target of their fury, the Oaxaca State Offices of the Institutional Revolutionary Party. In Guerrero State, protesters recently seized the airport in one of the region's top tourism hotspots, Acapulco. As the case of the missing students drags on, their anger grows, and so does the harm being done to the local economy. Acapulco has collapsed, without tourism, without people. In Acapulco, 10 local discos, which account for 25 percent of that city's annual tourism income, have seen a drop in customer traffic. Speaking recently on national radio, Mexico's Treasury Minister, who is the president's top economic advisor, said, quote, investment and hiring decisions could be affected. It would be naive to say the protest will not affect the economy. But leading analysts say Mexico's economy was struggling long long before these protests erupted, largely because taxes have been rising while consumer spending has been falling. None of this helps Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto's strategy to promote economic reforms aimed at convincing foreign corporations that Mexico is a great place to invest. If you have growing security issues and protests and all these different things, well, private investment isn't going to be as happy to really, uh, you know, go in and, and venture and have new projects. Mexico's leading retail association says sale targets are far off the mark. On Friday, the federal government is set to release Mexico's third quarter GDP figures, which economists and leading banks expect to be relatively weak. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.